Hello and welcome to another Doctor Assistant 1 video. Today I'm doing a, another um, review of a action figure. Um, sorry if you mainly watch my uh, action figure content. Now, as the content creator, that is me, <laughs> um, I personally started up the channel because I was really into the idea of getting the figures and reviewing them and I liked the fact that other people were doing it and that they were so passionate and they inspired me really. Um, so yeah, so that's why I'm saying that I'm sorry about it um, and stuff and it's kind of me just apologising to you guys if you are annoyed about the fact that I haven't uploaded or knew about action figures related stuff. Um, if you only really come to the channel because of that and and whatnot. That's why I'm apologising, and I'm apologising to make myself, if anything, make myself um, <coughs> kind of feel better as well. But anyway, onto the review. The review is of Ace, um, which is an Ace figure, no pun intended. Now it retails for nineteen um, or nineteen ninety nine, so twenty quid essentially. Um, and I'm here today, hopefully, to tell you whether or not it's worth it. Okay, so, um, and this figure is from Silver Nemesis, not the greatest story, but, um, and this is the only other figure, Ace figure to get. There's this one and a, there's this one and the Remembrance of the Daleks one, which I'd have much preferred to get because she gets even more, um, accessories, but, you know, it depends really if you really want the figure, you know, um, depends whether or not you're gonna pass this one up uh, because you really want the other one and whatnot but I couldn't pass this up because if I passed it up then who knows maybe you'd never be able to find it again and uh, and that does happen so anyway first of all I'm gonna go into the articulation which I'm not so very good at but yeah um, the head does do full 360 but um, the you know the the kind of head can do full 360 but obviously there's paint rub on the neck and whatnot um, because this is a newer um, action figure from the 5 inch line uh, the arms can do 90 degrees in at the uh, well just 90 degrees from the waist from the sides um, in at the arm joint elbow um, and then full 360 hands as well um, and they can do full 360 uh, articulation as well so yeah you can make her kind of do this <laughs> like she's dancing or something um, there is uh, other articulation there is knee articulation the knee articulation the feet do full 360 no idea why um, and I think the waist can go full 360 I think um, but uh, the jacket actually I don't think it is able to go full 360 so I think that's all the um, articulation from what I know of this figure um, so on to detail now just one quick thing that I hope to mention before I forget is that this badge shouldn't actually be in this on this figure because this badge I only knew this because of Batman March's review so thanks Batman March but this um, this certain uh, badge shouldn't be there because of in the greatest show in the galaxy uh, which is the next story she gets this sort of badge from one of the characters so you know and the uh, silver nemesis is the you know it goes silver nemesis it goes silver nemesis and then great show in the galaxy uh, so yeah she shouldn't have this badge but she does on this figure and I think she does in the actual show anyway so it's even more accurate really um, because I think they did Great Show in the Galaxy first and then did Silver Nemesis, even though in the uh, you know numerical order in which you would watch it, it wouldn't be that way around, if that makes sense. Anyway, onto the rest of the jacket. The jacket is immaculately detailed with all these badges and just stuff. You know, you've got a Blue Peter badge there, if it focuses. You've got Blue Peter badge, um, space like badge. Uh, smiley button there, if it focuses. Um, you've got the Russian uh, one, and just the back of the jacket with the ace uh, in the typography. You know, in the style of which 
Um, it's been represented in the show for a long time. Now, Ace is just a figure or a character, should I say, that is absolutely, um, you know, adored by many. Um, so it makes sense that she would have to be in a, a figure form. Um, you've got these pockets as well, which aren't, you know, you can't like open them or anything, but there is just a little bit of a detail there. Like there. Um, she's even got a watch there. No on her wrist there. But, you know, head art head detail even. It's very nice. Looks somewhat like Sophie Aldred. Um, and she's just awesome. Awesome figure. Cool ponytail sculpt. Hair sculpt is nice. Nice um, sculpt. The skirt. You've got... Um, also, you can remove the jacket to see the rest of her just shirt, which is very reminiscent of kind of the shirt she wears in Remembrance, but it is different. And then you've got the red like lining or zigzags on her um, tights. Um, and then I think to differentiate the boots from the rest of ma the most of the figure, um, it's done in a gloss black um, because the rest of the figure is pretty much more of a matte black. Um, and that. So yeah, um, the f there is a p sort of like a, um, well not a play feature, but you can remove the um, arms um, and attach these ones, sleeves, you know, sleeve uh, or jacketless arms with just the sleeve of her shirt um, and that. So th those are good. That's good because then it's like a two-in-one figure. Um, one last thing about the detail is just that She's even got like this little detail on a belt, which I absolutely adore. There's loads of creasing on the um, skirt. Yeah, as I say, I absolutely adore this figure. Anyway, I'm not going to show you it uh, like in this review, but you can remove, because it's such a pain, you can remove the jacket, um, attach these arms to the figure, and then you've got the, the one without the leather jacket, which is nice because character options could have just been horrible um, and very easily for them to do that. Um, you know, they could have just been horrible and just said, no, actually, we're releasing this one, S like glued, put PVC on uh, the jacket and stuck it down to the shirt so you couldn't remove it and not include these and therefore we'd have to wait for another figure and maybe pay 20 quid for that one to get a um, one without the jacket. So that's extremely nice of them. It also comes with this awesome painting, accessories now, onto the accessories. Um, it comes with this awesome painting which is from Silver Nemesis from what I can remember. Looks much like Sophie Aldred there. Um, and then on the back it's just not really interesting there. But just a nice uh, accompaniment, compliment even, accompaniment. Um, and then you've got like the tape deck thing where she's got, um, I think this is added in Silver Nemesis, I'm not sure about this top piece, but um, where it shows the holograph of the uh, Earth and that um, quite early on in the episode. It's just awesome, it's got loads of little trinkets and doodads and little buttons there and red buttons on the side, aptly painted, you know, there's no real paint bleed or anything on it, um, you know, you've got silver, bronze, white and silver and you know it all contra it all meshes well you know the red is vivid and stands out the the bronze in the middle stands out and then the white is just a nice accompaniment in the back or, or in between the silver and the bronze um you've got this strap so you can put it kind of over her um and that which um it's kind of a pain to do right now but so what would i give this ace figure um, this ace figure of an ace figure. <laughs> um, anyway, um, yeah, I would give it a well-earned 9 out of 10. I'm trying to be biased about the fact, uh, or not biased, should I say, about the fact that um, I like this character. Now, if you don't like this character, it is still a fantastic figure um, and well worth 1999. Um, why? Because you get quite a few accessories that are obviously, you know, uh, linked to the episode and whatnot, so they're not very, you know, not useless ones. They are, um, you know, complementary to that story. And even if you don't like this character for whatever reason, you know, you can use her in animations and in um, 
stop motion animations and whatnot and figure adventures because she is, you know, just a humanoid based figure. She has superb articulation and superb detail. Well earned, 9 out of 10. Thanks for watching, comment, rate and subscribe.